what is it that we have to, uh, which channel is it that we put it on? Hello, this is Kate Denny going to you live from the Spiritual Events Directory <laughs> page. And I've got the beautiful Amanda D. Warren with me today. <laughs> so just while we're right? waiting for... Yeah, we're live. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of happy to... Yeah. And, and I'm sorry for those that, you know, have been waiting for me to come on. I've already got a message from Pandora. Hi, Pandora. Uh, she says, I've just found you. Um, so I'm, we're up at Bly Bly today. And I'll, I'm just trying to find the page here. So I'm going to have to move up a bit because what? you can't actually see me. Can, can, can everyone head. see Amanda? I'll just get onto the page. I'm having a look on this one as well because I've had a little bit of trouble setting up so I can't see the messages that are coming yes. through. And I'm just setting this up for Karen. So I've got my lovely assistant with me today. That's and Come on, good. You're all good? Are you comfortable? Yeah. <laughs> comfortable? Now, Amanda De Warren is Australia's number one animal communicator and she has got a column in the Woman's Day. You've been in there for years and years now, haven't you? This, um, Kate, is my sixth year. I've just um, re-signed another five-year contract. With another five-year contract? Yeah. yeah. So I am, uh, the, um, I'll just pull out one here. Uh, the Animal Whisperer in the Woman's Day magazine. Uh, I do uh, celebrity animal connections one oh, week. Oh, hey, I noticed. And um, uh, then just do normal reads. Oh, was she the last one, was she? Well, I, I don't know. No, I just I that was saw it yesterday. Okay, so that's the uh, latest one is Paris Hilton and her animals. So what I do there is I communicate with the... Um, the animals themselves, and, and a lot of the times they're actually no different to any other animals. They're, they're basically, um, they just want to have a connection and have a chat. And some of them are a little bit pompous and arrogant and so mm -hmm. forth, but um, so yeah, just like it's interesting. They've all got their own personalities. And very, very spoiled because they come from a really wealthy family, so yeah. I, I'm oh. just wondering if we should. Well, what I'm doing, I'm looking at us now, so you can see us quite well. Can you all hear us okay? Um, well, Tracy's on here. You're Tracy. Oh, Tracy Seltz is on here. She, she says, so looking good, good, ladies. Oh, thank you. Yasmin's here. Hello, Yasmin. Marlene, can I tap into my Betty? So I'm going to pass this over to Karen because she takes down all our messages okay. for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, but first of all, we'll go through. Oh, I found you. That's Kelly, Susan, Marlene. So I'm not going to be able to read these now. So I'm going to pass it over to um, my dear friend. And I can't even find the share button. <laughs> okay, there you go. She's as <laughs> technological as I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit challenged in that department, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, any messages that you've got for us, if you can't hear us properly, um, just put, send a message and Karen will translate, <laughs> transfer that to us. Anyone that's wanting messages, we will try and do them in order. So, Karen's writing down all the details. And also, too, as usual, I'll be doing a giveaway, half, a, half an hour reading with me. So if you share the page and comment shared so other people can join in and watch this too. So we're coming to you live from the Spiritual Events Directory page. Well, I could probably do that too. I give away a half hour for people that share and so forth. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah half hour. Animal communication recorded with the crystals, and uh, just um, I don't know how you do it, whether you know winning or so forth. But anyway, the right person will get it. So, so we'll there. draw that at the end. So Karen will be writing down everyone's name that has shared it, and then I go through and I'll pick a winner for you, and we'll let you know who's won the half hour reading with me, and then who's won the half hour reading with Amanda. Um, we're going to do some tea leaf reading too, Ooh. as normal. 
But what I wanted to do is um, let you know. Sorry, I'm, I'm listening, but I'm, I'm sort of, I think if I do this, I'm going to be having my back to everyone. So I'm just kind of going to keep turning <laughs> and, then, and then get have to go to Maybe the fire and afterwards. Yeah, move forward what? a little bit. Can okay. you, hang on, hang on. This was sort of, it took me an hour and a half, two hours to drive up here. I had to get up right, early this morning. Try, back, do you want to try and move the chair or is that, is that? Yeah, that's how's better. that, how's that? That's better. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so good because I've not seen Amanda for ages and I usually, like we do the conscious yeah, expo I, together. I'm which I'm actually um, not doing that this year. No, I don't, exactly. I don't think um, I am either. No, I think I'm going years. away. And I usually stay here at Amanda's place, which was quite, we have quite a lot of fun. And last time Kate, we were looking at the crystal ball and reading the crystal ball together. Kate taught me how to read a crystal ball. I'd never read one in my life. And it was just absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Uh, I've got to excuse myself because I've still got uh, an ulcer in the mouth here. So uh, if I, my speech is a little bit out, it's because I've got a really bad ulcer. So that is about not speaking out and so forth, um, which is probably about the animal communication thing. So, so that's what we were going to tell you about today. I wanted to let you know about, well, let Amanda explain to you what she's doing. So as I said, she's Australia's number one animal communicator and she used to work with Steve Irwin. I did, that was an experience. And um, <laughs> Steve Irwin comes through quite regularly too. I've, I've even seen, like, Amanda's written a book. What's your book called? Uh, Through My Blue Eyes. Through My Blue Eyes. And I used, I had that at my shop at, when I was at Wellington Point. And anyway, I turned around one day and over the top of Amanda's face was Steve Irwin. So I gave Amanda a call and I let you her did. know about it. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, there was something happening there with the family. And, um... Because I know the family. I'm, um... Brian and I are going to head out to see Bob not too far down the track. Um, and well, they uh, came up on my Facebook feed the other day. Bob wrote a book about three years ago. We yeah, were up at yeah. Port Douglas at the time and we saw Bob um, doing a thing at the bookshop up there. It was pouring down rain. And, when, yeah, and when I came yeah. here and I told you about it yeah. and Bob had just said it, mailed you uh, a copy a of personalised so, copy yeah. copy that was uh, all signed by him and so forth and yes I did work with Steve Irwin um, before it became Australia Zoo it was uh, Queensland Reptile Park and uh, I worked with Bob and Lynn um, who was also passed over that Steve's mum tragically in a car accident and of course we lost Steve but um, working with Steve was wow uh, what you saw on television was exactly who he was. Um, a, a larger than life personality and, and you, you'd start cleaning up in the morning, you'd get there about seven o'clock and you'd start working with the animals and um, feeding the 10 metre reticulated pythons and going in and, you know, it's, it's quite a dangerous thing if you look at it with all the, the crocodiles and, and so forth. And there was a few hairy moments there in the beginning, but, um, so what was your job there? I was uh, I was the keeper of the some of the reptiles, um, some of the raptors. Funny enough, I've just bought a truck called a raptor. Bought a raptor. <laughs> Brian drives it more than me, because apparently he looks good in it. <laughs> Question. <laughs> And my, my bestie over there, Rob. She's she's my wingman. Oh, she won't let me drive. <laughs> She's too dangerous. <laughs> um, working with Steve was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, he taught me a lot of things. Um, but his personality, uh, it was all about the animals and, and the environment. And, and he was truly, truly passionate about the animals and the environment and what's happening with this world. And uh, often we would sit down in a group, um, Terry and Steve and a few of the other people, when it was just Queensland Reptile Park and, and there was probably two or three people walking around and it was so, so quiet back then. Um, and we would talk about the environment and what's happening with the animals and, and he was so passionate and, and uh, you know, get upset about different things that were happening. So he vowed and declared when Terry said, we're gonna make this a big place. He said, all the money that I make, Ted, I'm gonna to put towards 
environ environmental. So I know that they have um, some land up in North Queensland and they have some in Tasmania and a few other places um, to preserve this land. And, and uh, so that's where Steve comes in a lot, uh, connecting with me and, and uh, um, he's still got that quirky personality. Uh, and uh, but there's a serious side to it that I feel uh, being well respected by so many people and, and the media and, and where I'm going uh, I, ha I know I have a, a good team behind me and that's Steve as well uh, I'm good on you mate you know I'm really proud of you to be going out there and sticking your neck out so, so what are you going to be doing so overseas let me explain to you that it's I don't even know 100% myself. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. Um, I have a big PR company just come on board with me and I have a fantastic group and we're called, uh, I'm called Warrior Woman. So what it is is uh, not so much doing the people communication, it's more about the animals. Uh, getting myself out there um, and being well known, it's never about me, it's about the animals. So what we're doing is we're um, wherever I'm needed, we're starting off with the, uh, obviously I have an Australian connection and I want to work with the Australian animals, uh, preservation, preservation of land and preservation of their homes and so forth. Uh, so Australia is obviously first on the list. Uh, then we head out to um, my uh, Michelle, my trekker. Uh, she uh, is organising the orangutans in Borneo. Uh, then I'm looking at doing the wildcat uh, preservation and so forth. Uh, so it's a lot of stuff around the world, you know, like uh, I hunt the hunted. Okay, the hunters. If anybody has done anything to any animal, it goes on my hit list. Let me tell you, I'll hunt you down and I'll find <laughs> what's you. Your, what's your hit list? My hit list is anybody that comes up on Facebook um, that has uh, hunted for pleasure. Um, and there's quite a few on that, men and women, believe it or not. Uh, people that have done some sort of cruelty to animals. If ever I see anything on Facebook or people alert me to something, it actually goes onto my hit list. So if your name is on my hit list, I will come for you. Oh, uh, okay, that sounds a little bit scary. Um, <laughs> people, a lot of people are beginning to back me now. Um, I'm not interested in um, celebrity status. That means nothing to me. I'm not interested in who you are as a celebrity. I have quite a few celebrities that want to come on board with me, but they're there for a purpose. I have no interest in the celebrity side, but what they can help me with. So I go out there, I'm not exactly sure what the whole strategy plan is, but I go out there and I speak for the animals. I am their voice and I talk to them and they tell me how they're feeling. Uh, so I speak for them. Um, they're interested in um, wanting to know what man is gonna do for them. As, as we all know, there is uh, a lot of um, atrocities to all animals around the world. Um, and there's no in particular animal. It can be horses or, or, or orangutans or big cats or, or something. So I'm, I'm focusing on a lot of things and I have a lot of people behind me. So I, I really do want people to help. I'm not asking for money, I'm, uh, I'm asking for your backing. So I am the voice of all animals around the world. So they speak through me. Uh, I have a book that I'm writing and uh, this has been a book that there are 370 entries in this book and all of them have been channeled from animals to us. So this book is unique. Um, it, it talks about all the animals and the different things that they want us to know about themselves. This is domestic, this is um, uh, you know, zoo animals or, or something else. And, and when I say zoo, I mean the... Um, yes. My lovely assistant, Robin. <laughs> it's probably cold, so it has to be cold. Oh, oh, were they? Oh, I didn't know they were cold. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so anyway, it's it's a mix and match type of thing. 
Um, whoever okay, needs my help, mm -hmm. I will try and do the very best that I possibly can. I am feeling very alone now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so well, let's just getting our tea ready. That's all right. So I'm taking that out. Ready yes. yes. So there's a, a, a whole aspect of it's. I'm basically just concentrating on the animals. So there'll be also um, the big PR company that are coming out come, have now come on board. I have a beautiful team behind me. Um, uh, Vicky, um, who is my media lady. Um, Michelle, who does my trekking. Um, uh, Jamie, who does my uh, media work um, and um, internet work. And Tracy. And Tracy. 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 Yeah. I was just about to say Tracy. <laughs> Tracy, my beautiful Tracy. Um, she is awesome. Uh, and, um, and, and Brian, my lucky boy. Tracy's the one that does all the, she makes all the appointments. Thanks. So, yeah, if you wanted to um, make a um, private appointment with Amanda for a reading, you'd get on to Tracy Sill. So she's actually on the page now. She's um, amazing. I don't know what I'd do without my Tracy. And, and I have praise for everybody. And there's my two beautiful volunteers. Um, um, we have uh, Lynn and Chuck. Um, my two beautiful volunteer ladies. I uh, hope I haven't left anyone out. Uh, Vicky, Tracy, Lynn, Michelle, Brian, Lynn, Jamie. I think that's it. Oh, oh, and um, Jane, my photographer. Oh, now a pre Mother's Day thing, which is on the th May the third. It's a Sunday, so it's the week before Mother's Day. Thanks, babe. And um, Amanda will be doing a show there. Thanks for that. And um, I'll just put mine down there. I'll be there and Brian will be there. So I'm going to go around and do tea leaf readings, which I'm just making a tea for us now so we can do some readings for you after this. Um, it's kind of scary. <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know what's going to come up in mind. But anyway, to wrap things up, I'm going to be the uh, global animals voice uh, for them to uh, explain to us, through me, explain to us uh, what's happening and how they're feeling about what's going on. And uh, uh, I'll do as much good as I can and spend the rest of my life working for animals and being the voice for animals. Speaking of animals, where's Russell? How's the new cat? Oh, sure. Let's see. There you go. Oh, you've got your own spoon. Special brew. So the money that's coming from the Mother's Day thing is also going to... Yes. You're yes. donating that money to some causes, yes. aren't you? Um, yes, that's going to kind of... Um, it, it helps to get out there. Uh, helps me to get out there. Um, the book sales and, and some other things that I have for sale, which are my uh, animal discs. Uh, there's five of those. So if you go to the Animal Whispers uh, column, uh, Facebook, no, website, um, there are some. I'll put that up the top of the page yeah, for there's you. Some fantastic products. Also, we have the bands, uh, the orangutan bands, uh, but they're not just for the orangutans. So this is all about the animals and this is all about their, their home. And, and what we need to also remember is it doesn't just belong to us humans. This earth, Mother Earth, belongs to everyone who is inhabiting it. We as humans uh, think that we have a right to go out there with breed and massacre um, the orangutans rainforest and, and the, the grounds that our animals live in. And uh, we, I don't feel we have a right to do that. Okay, there's, there's something called progression and, and so forth. And yes, obviously, we all need to live in housing and so forth. But on the other side of the coin there, what are we doing to our animals? You know, these hunters, they go out and they, they kill for, for pleasure. And they do, and people that do atrocities to animals. Now, I refuse to share any photos and atrocities to animals on my Facebook page because I do not want my my followers to see that. If you want to share something with me, please share it as a message, not don't put it on my Facebook page. And you can understand why, because this is very challenging and very confronting to people to see some of the absolute 
atrocities that are going on now. So, anyway. I have to say I delete them. And, yeah. And it puts too much on there. I'm just, I know what goes on out there. I'm not blind to it, but I don't need to see you it either. I'm just too sensitive to it. You know exactly um, what is going on. Yeah. And, and to me, I need, as an animal communicator, I need to get out there and get those voices um, from the animals to us and, and speak for them about what we're doing to this planet and uh, mm. how they feel about it. What's their opinion on it? And, uh, yeah, so I, I'm... It's all about the animals, people. So it's you, all about you had been communicating a lot with the sea life too, haven't yes. you? And what yes. was going on there? Yeah, that so has that a lot to do with Steve. Um, I was recently on a. Um, it was really funny. I was recently on a, a cruise, um, and I was working on the cruise. And because Ronnie was so sick, Brian couldn't come. He stayed home with uh, Ronnie. So. A friend of mine, Michelle, um, a, a friend of the lady that had organised it, she came instead. And it was really funny because as we were, um, we shared a room together and and all of a sudden I felt Steve around and all of a sudden he's like, you're on my turf now because we headed up the Barrier Reef and I thought, yes, we are on his turf. Mm. And then he said... where he passed away, wasn't yes, it? Yes, uh, and, and it was really quite interesting because I wasn't even thinking about him. So all of a sudden, I'm on the Great Barrier Reef on a cruise ship and, uh, and all of a sudden I felt him around. So this was his territory. It's like, my, you're on my territory now. The Great Barrier Reef and you're on the ocean. And Steve, anybody that knew Steve knew that he loved the ocean. He was very passionate about the ocean. So I felt him, I feel Steve around a lot and he encourages me. He's not the only one. Uh, there are quite a few others um, that have passed over that uh, encourage me as well. So, um, believe it or not, that's up to you. Uh, I do, I'm not trying to discourage skeptics. Everybody has their own views. I have a job to get on with. So, if you're skeptic about it, that's fine. That's your opinion. And I respect that. We're not going to have any skeptics here. <laughs> you would, you would be surprised on some of the stuff that, that we get in. It's like, yeah, right out, whatever, have a really good day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't waste time on negativity. All I'm asking is people follow me. I'm just about to go out to the big wide world and do all of the things that I need to do for the animals. So I've uh, got my work cut out for me. There's <laughs> so a lot have, going on. Have many of you been to, like any of you been to Amanda shows? I first met Amanda was at G Bunk RSL. It's a bit hot. It's very hot. <laughs> and it's a little bit cold. I went there with some girlfriends, and it, it, yeah, it was a few cold years cold. after um, my grandson had passed away of six. Mm. <laughs> and you, I sort of had a feeling that he'd be there, um, but then yeah, Amanda brought up something and gave me some confirmation mm. about it and I just I burst into tears and it's like would someone please take that lady aside and sort her out <laughs> <laughs> but no it was really it was really good and and after that I had the shop at Wellington Point at this stage yes. and you came there and we had a group of people and we had some skeptics in there too which was um, Thanks, which Mom. made it, it was really good um, having those skeptics there. So it was uh, two girls that actually worked with animals. And oh, I remember those two. Yeah. Do you remember the, the yeah. one about the horse? And you yeah. kept on talking about the, the smell of flesh burning. Yeah. The, and, yeah. then you, and then you'd leave it and then you'd come back and it came through. It was the very last one in the end. She kept on saying, I can still smell that burning, I, and then she'd be dragged off somewhere else, and in the end, um, brought through the horse that had been attacked by um, wild dogs. Wild dogs, yeah. 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 And, and, she, she, and they yeah. had the cremation out in the backyard, yes. and Amanda picked up on all of that. And the girls were just in absolute shock because one of them was not a believer at all. And yeah. I think it was good that it actually came through as the last yeah, as the last reading was. because it was really um, like the details that were coming through. Amanda didn't want to bring it through, and the lady saying, "No, no, um, 
you tell me what you're seeing so my Amanda did and it was it was a bit graphic it was a bit graphic with what came through but it was all yeah, so it was, accurate um, like the message that came through from their beloved horse mm. I have no prior information before I do my readings I prefer whether it be uh, people passed over or animals passed over or animals living uh, when my lovely Tracy books people in I have no prior information um, I just would prefer nothing and then I go in and I start communicating uh, whether they've passed over what they've passed over from whether they're living I also do a lot of healing do you um, find you get the um, spirits coming through before the session yeah days before yeah get no, not days but um, I do about nine to ten readings a day at times so I have a 15 minute interval with each one and then sometimes I will get information coming through. Uh, for instance, the other day, uh, a lady had a reading with me. It's all over the phone. Uh, I have clients all over the world. And uh, I kept seeing this German Shepherd and I felt this German Shepherd had been passed over for quite some time. Uh, and, then, uh, and then I saw her dad come through and told me that he had passed from a heart attack about 15 years ago. So stood there and just standing there at my office door and connecting to this man and uh, and this German Shepherd because it came through together. And uh, as soon as uh, she rang, I said, don't tell me anything, um, but I've got a German Shepherd here and this was about 20 years ago. And I said, your father's showing me and, and I feel what they feel. And he said, he passed away from a heart attack and you weren't there. And she just lost it. <laughs> I said, the German Shepherd was your baby. Um, I said, ja, ja, Josie, and she said, Jasmine. I went, right, okay. And I said, and you had to give her away, I said, towards the end of something. And she was, Jasmine was telling me the whole story. And uh, she just nearly fell over backwards. Uh, she's like, how the hell did you know all of that? So she had a lovely connection with her father and her grandmother and her dog and the rabbit. So, um, I try and get to as many people as possible, but please be patient, everyone, because we get pretty full stuff pretty quickly. Well, so, well, yeah, well. Uh, I just did a reading for a journalist the other day, and uh, her two dogs came through with her husband. Uh, he told me that he had passed away from cancer, and uh, the two dogs came through. And they're very different personalities. They're a brother and sister, but they never assume anything in this reading. What have we got Are there, you Ralph? all sharing too? So make sure so to go into the draw to win a half hour reading with myself and a half hour reading with Amanda. Make sure you share the page because Karen's writing them all down for us. Um, is there any? I, I want to actually ask about. Oh, I've been. Sorry. Oh now, be careful. <laughs> now when you're drinking your tea, you've got to drink it and use your teeth and your tongue as a strainer. I okay? figured that because I just had another tea. And we might right. even see some of the animals in here. So even though we're drinking oh. the tea ourselves, we might actually see your your pets in here oh. or you know past loved ones. But um, my girl. Amanda's just lost her, her baby, mm. Romy. Now, how old was Romy? He's only like... Romy was seven and a half. And what type of... He was a big dog. He was a uh, bull mastiff, bull arrow. And uh, had some um, uh, great Dane in him. Uh, and um, he got bone cancer, didn't he? Yes. I'm sorry. You know what, it's okay to lose your animal and it's okay to say goodbye to them. Um, sorry, I, I miss him so much. He was my dog. Um, I got Brian cancer. Um, it all started off when Brian and I took him to a spa, didn't it? Yeah. And they nicked his ear and um, it swelled up and uh, he had to have an operation on the ear and then it all of a sudden he ended up with bone cancer and he comes to visit us every morning um uh, he he was only given a short amount of time to live but with all the healing that we did and, and thank you to everyone that helped um he lived another eight months um I'm all of you that have lost an animal out there i know what it's like 
and this is every day and they're not just fur animals they are they are our life and they and they're our family now I made my bestie cry <laughs> you might need to get us both some tissues um so anyway I know he's still around and um he fought a good battle um he passed on his own terms um Brian and I did as much as we possibly could for him. Oh, good, you bought some. <laughs> um, I do what I do, but I still miss him every day. Can you bring one to see Amanda? No, no, sorry, yeah, I'll have you. Sorry, I wasn't planning on crying, uh, but... I cried you, last week <laughs> on the show. You know what it's like. So anybody that's lost one big baby. Let me explain to you, um, we didn't actually put Romy to sleep. Um, but there were no regrets there. There was nothing that Brian and I felt that we hadn't done. And uh, we, we looked after him so, so well, always. Um, and we have a lot of memories of him. And uh, his favourite thing was to go to the beach in the truck. Now, he was so sick on that Sunday. Uh, I rang the vets the next morning and I knew that I was going to have to make that decision. Uh, we picked him up, we carried him down, we put him in the truck and his favourite thing was the window was down and he would have his head out the window. Big truck, big dog. <laughs> Loved him. So did you buy the big truck for the dog? Basically, yeah. <laughs> well, and we actually bought the big truck to do the travelling, which we've done so far. But anyway, um, he got up, as we were approaching the vets, uh, and I knew this is really at the end of his life, um, he put his head, he sat up and he put his head out the window like he always did. The breeze in his hair, in his, in his face and everything. That was his favourite thing, he loved it. Then all of a sudden, just as we turned into the vets, he passed. We were 30 seconds from the vets and he fell backwards and he passed. And uh, that was it, he was gone. So it was on his terms. But I know my beautiful father met him. Uh, and my other big girl, Kelly, uh, who lived a long time with Ronnie. Um, but I know he's there. So, uh, but if we're ever having to make the decision to say goodbye to them, they understand that we're only trying to end their suffering, not their lives. They go on loving us. They, they understand that this is something that we have to do because we love them and we don't want to see them suffer. So I've never had an animal come back and go, you put me to sleep. That's not the case. They want us to reflect back on their lives and uh, the love that we've given them and, and, the, and the love and support that we share, and which still goes on, even though they're not physically here, this still goes on. Now I know my father and Kelly met Romy when he passed over, uh, which didn't surprise me. That was when I first met you, was you had just lost Kelly. I just lost Kelly, just, like, just lost, lost my dad. dad. So yeah. you were um, supposed to do the show at um, Mount Tambourine. Yes, and you that's pulled, right. it, pulled out of it. Yeah, because and that was uh, the first I yeah, looked into that one and stayed it in number ten, yeah. which is a room <laughs> that they wanted. Haunting. But we've got a few questions. Anyway, yeah. Here. So anyway, if you've had to make that decision, sorry, if you've had to make that decision, just know that they go on loving us. I did a reading for a gentleman not so long ago, and uh, he was ninety-two years of age. Uh, his dog passed away at seventy-two years ago, but that dog came through first. Stay away. He was so happy to hear from her. 75 years later. So they're still, still there. They're you? still there. Still that another lady. Her cat's been gone 62 years. The cat came through first off. So it's, it doesn't surprise me that they're in this life. When we finish this life, um, they're there waiting for us. And, and another lady, um, I was doing lots of readings for, well, she was a regular, and uh, her and daughter, and then the lady passed over. And I always said to the lady, uh, all your animals here are um, uh, over there are waiting for you and then when the lady passed and her daughter had the reading the lady Liz came through and she said Amanda you are absolutely correct when I grew and when Susan went over she said as you had said all my animals were here she said that to her daughter after she passed mm -hmm. so uh, it's it's all about education with me helping people to understand and, and have a better relationship with their animals now I've got someone asking are you going to tap into our pets or is this just a chat set? We, um, are, we, 
We will do some readings with the tea leaves. We will. But have, um, have you got anyone that's come through? There is a, a connection of a, a, a cat called... Um, there's so many coming through now. There's a lot. Um, I, I feel... Actually, it's probably better, because there's so many coming through, it's probably better if we get a chance at the end of the reading if people just ask a question. Because I've got so many animals coming okay. through. I've got a big so. dog called like Tyson, who, uh, and then there's a little kitty called um, Bo uh, that was hit by a vehicle. Uh, I've got a horse that there was some bloating around it. So I've got so many coming through. So I, so I apologize. If you can send us a message if you had a dog Tyson or you had a horse with bloating. Um, I've got a lady here, her cat disappeared to oh hi Rachel, how are you? Hi Rachel. Uh, Rachel is from I think the UK. Wow. Um, Rachel's a regular. I think she's from the UK. Um, so she's lost a cat, her cat's disappeared. And then another lady, Ruth, she wants to know about Mandy Moo. I don't know who Mandy Moo is. So if you want to send us some messages. Mandy Moo, what's her name? Uh, the lady's name is Ruth. And then Which she's is my just, family call me Mandy Moo. <laughs> That's my nickname with the family. So I was wondering whether it was a rally or not. And Betty. Oh, do so do you know a Ruth? No, Ruth, Ruth Smith, yeah. um, and then somebody that wants Betty. Um, so I'm going to finish this. We might even see if um, the animals are going to come through, oh. and we can see pictures in the tea. So what you're going to do is that okay? Wow, wow. this is fun. Just, just catching up. This lady, you will awesome, find this way. so she easy. She knows her stuff. Turn it upside down on your saucer. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Now you're going to turn your cup three times anti-clockwise. So three full swings. Anti-clockwise? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And when you stop, you're going to have the handle facing towards your heart. Now that brings through some confirmation from the past. Then we're going to tap on it three times. And this is my way of do I do medium shift. I love this. She, this lady is and just turn it over. Me. And then I'll turn it over. Yep, turn it over. Oh, you're going to like this. Tyson's in here. Like that? Yep. So has anyone said that they own a Tyson? No, not that name, no. Oh, it's a big dog. Chelsea. Um, yeah, Tyson Bailey. was about nine and uh, he's a big dog. And he passed over about two to three years ago. And I feel maybe his mum's not on here. I feel she's in Australia, but I feel like she's not on this, but a person knows of the Tyson. Um, he's, uh, he passed away suddenly. Look, he's trying to spell out his name in here. Oh, he is too. Tyson. How amazing is that? So I'll show, I'll show you that in a minute. Stuff. I'll take photos of this and I'll put it up on the page. Um, I've got a picture here of a lighthouse. So the lighthouse is about hope and it's your guiding light. And look, just know, even when these animals pass away, they are still with us. You will pick them up. Or do you want to see that? And then next to that, the lighthouse, we've actually got a big bull head dog in here. You can just see the head and it's a big bull head. Um, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if it's Romy. Oh. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. I haven't head. got my glasses, I can't find them. <laughs> and I generally, I, I lose There you go, Brian. Point. You want to have a look at that? You can get the big bull head in there. So are you doing this live? So what page are you on? On Amanda's? On oh, Amanda's. Okay. okay. So you can even watch this from Amanda's oh. page too. So, hello to all of Amanda's friends hello. and all hello. her fans. My fans. <laughs> I, I, I was asked by a journalist on Monday, I've actually got a big story coming out uh, in uh, the Sunday newspaper in the big 
the newspaper on uh, in, in uh, Sydney. And she said to me, well, what's it like to be a celebrity? And I started to laugh because I really can't get my head around that. <laughs> it was wonderful. I'm a celebrity. But well, you're um, in a woman's state. I know. So I know. many people know you and follow you I around know. Australia. Now you're going overseas. Yeah. And not so long ago, you were interviewed on a radio station in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. And then you, I was it Rove? Rove and McManus, um, Grant Denya, and uh, um, on TV Simmons. with. Um, Carl uh, Sanders. What's his name? Oh, Carl Sanders. Carl Sanders, that's it. Sorry. Yeah, Carl Sanders. He didn't do you justice at all. Sorry. <laughs> there was a lot that was missed out, but that's how I got to know the public relations. Um, when um, Brian was being seated in the audience when I was actually at the front, um, the lady that, that uh, she met Brian first and started chatting to him and, uh, and, and then it just went from there. They, they just felt like I, they wanted to come on board, so. Circumstances. So, uh, is that okay. for me or for you? Well, we're doing these readings for, for everyone, so this comes through. So first of all, we're going to look Okay, so Marlene, she wants us to try and tap into Betty. So what I'm going to do is try and see what I can see in here for Marlene. Marlene, Betty's past, is that right? It's, it's kind of difficult. It is, when we, when we can't when he's see. trying to answer people, um, uh, I just felt Betty has passed over. Well, I've got a really tall person in here. Uh, very long and lanky and then I have got a house next to them so I'm not too sure if this has got anything to do with Marlene um, but if this resonates with anyone I want to say that this has got to do with um, moving house and I've got somebody here with um, a suit on I'll show this to Amanda so there's the house there. He's yes. that tall person with yeah, the hat on. The hat on. Yep. And then we've got another house just here. So I'm seeing oh. I'm seeing a two-story house and then I'm seeing a low set house. And then I'm also seeing a book <laughs> there. That's me. <laughs> and then we've got a daffodil. Okay, so the daffodil. The first time I saw a daffodil, actually, I was doing a reading, and the lady, the the four ladies that came to have the reading, their name was Holland. So the oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, I found the glasses. There they go. Um, the why it would be for now is the time to do anything. I don't have. Usually, I have Eleanor's cards with me, and I'll do like a one draw for each person. Um, but I want to say, I'm just trying to see if I can pick up anything with Marlene and tapping into Betty. Have you got anything now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sh show me oh, your team. You've taught me um, uh, the crystal ball, but not the Okay, so it's basically the I same. I need to do one of your classes. Okay, so what have we got here? This one here looks like a sailboat, okay? Don't so this actually looks like going off in, so the sailboat would be going off in new directions in your life. It can even be going overseas. So oh. I'm not too sure, I'm, I don't know that this is going to have anything to do with Marlene. Um, but we'll see. Have you got it's any? Marlene with Betty? Yes. That's, that, that's what I thought, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, overseas. Yes, that's uh, that's me going off and and uh, I'm doing my thing with the animals. Mm. So there's a then we've got the dolphin just here. Well, that okay. would be sea animals. That's so connect it. So the yeah. dolphin is well. The dolphin is also about going overseas. It's about tropical holidays, and it's you're welcome wherever you see you go. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I've written a it's book incredible. on the A to Z of tea leaf reading. So if anyone oh. wants to learn about tea leaf reading or come and do a class. I'd love to do a class. I've always wanted to do a class with you. I'm doing one this Saturday. I'm in Brisbane, <laughs> fully booked. 
Sorry. <laughs> She's always booked out. It took us ages just to get together. I don't think we've seen each other for... Oh, oh it must be about eight months. Um, can I just mention that um, Brian has some readings coming up next weekend on the Gold Coast and we're doing a party together on Friday the 13th. Um, then you've got Brisbane... Brisbane and Melbourne. Yeah, what's Brisbane Day? Uh, Brisbane's the, the last Saturday of the month. That's the 28th. 28th, okay. So Brian's doing face to face in Brisbane. And then he's got uh, almost fully booked at Melbourne. And, in Melbourne. So, and we're doing a party together mm. on the Saturday night. So, yes, uh, I just like to. And, and uh, watch Brian awesome. and he does his uh, live thing. So just get onto Amanda's page or Brian's page and you can check all that out. Brian's is Serenity. Yeah. Um, well, well, let's. I, I, sorry, I'm, I, I'm seeing like spiders. See, see the the oh, legs yes. coming out, and then there's a the body. And, and so to me, that looks like tropical, um, uh, tropical. I'm not afraid of anything. I mean, if you work with Steve Irwin, you're not afraid of anything. <laughs> And I spiders are about renewal. Okay, so spiders I'm... Spiders are reminding like, like the web. Look at the legs. Yep, the it's legs. like a tarant tarantula. Yeah, tarant tarantula. 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 <laughs> so, so that is all about... Um, when you look at spiders, now, they're like... They've got their trap doors, but the webs, they have to work mm -hmm. at it every single day. So that's just reminding you whatever you're doing... You need to work at it every single day oh, yeah. to keep it going. Um, like yeah, even with your psychic, yeah, yeah with your psychic and abilities. Um, you know, if you're wanting to to learn how to work with your intuition, it is about working with it every single day. Highly recommend Kate's classes. <laughs> um, she's such a brilliant lady. Uh, but yeah, I kept seeing tropical tarantula spiders, so I get the feeling that I'm going to be going into um, tropical, uh, probably the Amazon or something like that. Um, because I'm, I'm also seeing like dragonflies and, and like the, here's the wings of the dragonflies. I'm sorry that you can't see it, everyone, but I'm seeing like the dragons of the, the dragonfly wings and big dragonflies and, and so forth. And um, um, Again, snake. that's about moving into something new. The dragonfly, the, the snake. The snake, yep. the snake is 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 about rebirth. And with the okay. with the snake, well, the, having the snakes around, I was listening to the radio on the way up here. So watch, uh, check your toilet seats when you lift up the toilet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is, which they say. Um, have, yeah, there is before a, you pee, yeah. see, see if you can see anything there because they're catching a lot of snakes around there. But people don't necessarily change. Like even when a snake sheds its skin, it's still the same underneath. And then the, um, the dragonfly is about mm. renewal. Mm. And... And I would say that you are going to work like in like subtropical climates yeah. as well too yeah. with as your as well work. as the Australian yeah. um, side of it and obviously the Australian side of it. And then we've got the full moon. moon here. Now we've got the full moon. I don't know what today's stage is. Um, no, it's the 6th? 5th. 5th. Today's the 5th. Yeah. So we've got the full moon on the 10th. And then we've got a house here and then we've got the full moon above the house now this full moon that's coming is apparently the biggest one for this year okay. so you would expect that there's going to be a lot of high emotions um you'll have all the fruit loops out at the moment um but people are, that are affected by by the moon <laughs> sorry right. people that what was I saying and, and this one's off. this one's cancer and she shares the same birthday as my wonderful husband so you know she's, exactly she's so gorgeous yeah. um and so is your husband he's he is man. that's how i know you're so gorgeous he's um so expect this weekend that there are going to be some major shifts and just try and keep calm. Um, are you I, talking to me? 
all, all <laughs> especially the cancerians Stay because hard. because they do like follow the moon and their moods change with the with the moon as well so having that connection with the moon yes it's it's probably going to affect you i don't know what um star sign it's in well, that, that actually, um, the whole housing and so forth is really resonating with me right at this point. Um, the, the second house and, and so forth, the two houses. Uh, I don't want to go into great detail, but it makes, you know, with, with the changes in uh, my path and where I'm going and, and working with the animals and, and uh, change of direction on a lot of levels. Mm -hmm. um, that absolutely resonates with me. And uh, I always have this feeling that I'm going to come across a lovely great big tarantula spider, uh, lots of snakes and dragonflies and so forth, because I feel like I, to work with the animals, I need to feel what they feel and, and be in their home. So, you know, you might see somewhere along the line that it's me chaining myself to a big tree so they don't <laughs> knock it down or something. Look, um, as people say, I'm not a confronting person, but I will confront. If I feel I have to, I will. And it's not a pretty sight. So, um, and I don't apologise for it. But I'm a very positive person and I try to stay positive um, and, and very um, loving and caring the best I possibly can. So, um, how are we going for time? It's uh, 10.26. Okay. Well, we'll have to wrap it up in a minute, but let's see what animals we can bring through. Can we, can we do that? Oh, pet's shit. name. So it was Betty. There's a pet. So Marlene's pet is Betty. Yes, okay. And passed over? Or hasn't she said? Um, yes, she has. Yes, because I feel passed over. Uh, and and the, the... Was it a dog, was it? Um, it feels like a big I'm dog. I'm not sure if she said what... what but she did say it's passed over yes. because I feel it coming through as soon as I connected to Betty I felt through, uh, coming through passed over and, and I felt not all that long ago where are we? not all that long ago and I feel it was quite sudden and it happened quite quickly and I felt like um, Marlene didn't get much of a chance to sort of say goodbye and uh, as I said to you Marlene they they go on loving us forever in a day. So I just felt passed away and passed away. My name's Betty, my mum is Marlene, and I just felt that these two had such a strong, it was just the two of them most of the time. And I felt Marlene feels a lot of guilt around Betty's passing. There's something that happened. I felt either like a stroke or a heart attack or something, it, it was very quick. It was like a stroke and like, here one minute, gone the next, and I feel what they feel, so I'm, I feel their emotions and their, um, but she goes on loving you, honey, and please remember, they never stop loving us, and they're still a big part of our lives, and uh, they love us unconditionally. Okay. Jack the dog, said Jack Russell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jack. Jack the dog. I, I've seen as I've got a German Jack. Shepherd here, and I was just thinking it's funny that you would talk about the German yeah, Shepherd before I, because I that real... was probably the, the German Shepherd. I that's love German through. Shepherds, I love all dogs, I love all animals. Um, and I was put on this planet um, to do the animal communications uh, and to be a, a voice for the animals. Um, uh, but as I said, it's never about me. But I, the, the first animal communication I did was uh, way back when I was five on my uncle's farm. And uh, when we were over in England and uh, this dog went missing, but I knew that it was in the hay shed, three sheds down. And as we got closer, we could hear the dog barking. And I said, it's, it's squashed. It was only five, it was on the tractor. And um, way back then before they had, you know, rules and regulations, there was like six kids hanging off this tractor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was just amazing. Um, but I was right. He was uh, five, uh, uh, about five, almost five miles away. But I knew that he was, he'd fallen down uh, between the hay and the shed wall and uh, we needed to carry him. Um, so who else have we got there? I know we have to wrap it up soon. So we've got, I haven't got names next to oh, this. Oh, we have a Lucy. 
um, I had a Lucy, I had a Bailey, an angel. I've got an amazing story about an angel dog, but anyway, no, we won't, I won't talk about that. We'll tune into these. We'll tune into these now. Leo the cat, okay, Jack dog. Um, uh, Betty, sorry, Betty wanted to tell you that when she passed over, there was another dog there waiting for her, and I feel a male figure, like a father figure waiting. Uh, and there was another dog that Betty knew, so uh, she wasn't alone. I think you're worried, Marlene. I'm sorry to sort of focus on one person. Um, Bailey. There's so many coming through, and I'm trying to keep up with them. Um, so, Leo the cat, don't mess with me. Uh, Chelsea, German Shepherd, I felt that there was uh, uh, not exactly a rescue, but I feel sort of had gone to a few different, like, or one or two different homes. I, I felt that the people had actually moved. A lot of travel around Chelsea. Jack the dog, um, first was like, I think in his insane jealousy. It was like he was, we've got to remember that animals have such a personality just like we do. You can get the same dog uh, from, uh, and maybe two brothers from the same um, litter and they will be completely different from each other. So you never assume that two dogs are gonna be exactly the same. I have, uh, um, I, I said to Brian this morning and yesterday that I felt Romy is going to bring through two dogs. They're not related, but we're going to end up with two big dogs again. Uh, and uh, both of these kind of feel like they have to be together. So, uh, which we're open to, but not right away. We need to move on from that. Um, yeah, I was so just picking up on a greyhound, so I don't know if anyone's got a greyhound, but I've, I've got this yeah. whitish greyish greyhound that's coming through. Um, if anyone belongs to that dog. Leo, um, I... I do a lot of healing uh, and I do what's known as 3D healing. So I tap into animals and they tell me if they can't get the right results from the uh, vets, and I'm not saying that I know everything, I certainly don't, but I can tap into animals. Leo, I feel there was um, a lot of renal issues, um, uh, kidney, and uh, yeah, so I felt, uh, I felt I needed to uh, send some healing to Leo. Um, wow, there's so many, you've got like 10 names here, and, and um, sorry, no, no, not at all, you know what, I love what I do, and I help as many people as I can, um, people send me questions about their animals, and it's never, ever about money with me, I have no interest in money whatsoever, obviously I've got to pay my bills and so forth, but I'm happy to help as many people as I can, um, sending healing or doing a healing, um, I write down what's going on and I, I sometimes contact the person back and then I put them in a healing board, on a healing board and it goes into my healing room. Uh, so if you need healing for your animal, please let me know. Um, and I did ring up Amanda last week in an emergency situation where my granddaughter got attacked. And yes, yes. I don't know if they've put the dog down or not. It was a I don't think colleague. so. I don't think so, but it actually a... went back and went for the neck the second time. So yeah. that's and what she, my book she connected, is about. She connected with the dog, and um, yeah. yeah, the the dog hadn't done it before. Just as Amanda had picked it up, it was very shocked. The family were very shocked, mm. um, and the people were absolutely beautiful. But sometimes these things just happen. And you don't know when they're going to turn. And it doesn't so matter if the people are great, beautiful people and they bring up their dogs properly. Mm. You just can't pick it. And uh, that's what my book is about. It, it um, covers everything about animals. When animals uh, attack all of a sudden or feeding problems or aggression or possession and things like that. So I describe to you why they do this and, and uh, what, what you can do to help. There is a second and a third book coming out. Uh, the other one is uh, uh, what is it like to pass over and what happens when they pass in different circumstances and you know, like a, a, a car accident or cancer or, and then what do they do over there? There's a third book coming out for children. So it's all about, um, for, there's a per, part in it for parents 
um, when a child is having visitations and so forth. But it also helps the children to understand um, about what happens when a dog passes or a family passes or so forth. So I've got a bit on my plate coming up and uh, Oliver uh, here, sorry, Pat's name's Oliver, uh, I, I feel this, um, it's an overwhelming um, quick, feels like a quick passing. There's a bird in here, so I think the angel might have been a bird, so there's a bird coming through, it's like a parrot. Uh, I've got blue through it, so Oliver, um, overwhelming, like, I just love my family, I just love my mom, my daddy, I love my daddy. <laughs> so, sorry everyone, I, I'd like to get to as many as I can, and if you are wanting a booking or something, um, just go and overwhelm my lovely Tracy, she'll love me and thank me for it the next day. <laughs> and let us know if any of this um, resonates with you too, with what's coming yeah. through. Yeah, so www.amandadewine is for the readings, but the animal, the new site, for all the animal things and, and please join our Facebook page, uh, The Animal Whispers. Is it The Animal Whispers? Facebook. Uh, and um, come and join us. So it would be amazing. So sorry, you were saying I was very rude interrupted you. It's okay. Of course. I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> getting old. <laughs> uh, so um, I want you, I want to let you know that you need to slow down a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know, I know, but um, <laughs> Rob Sydney <Nigger. laughs> I was so, having a few days off the other day, but I was in the office for like from five a.m. a.m. in the morning, and uh, I came out about ten o'clock. And Brian looks at me and he goes, "Nice to know you're having a few days off." <laughs> now get in the car. We're going somewhere, so I think. Okay, so. <laughs> I've learned only a little bit of like face reading and I only know this through myself. Um, but have you had a heart attack? Yes. Many years ago. Oh, you have? Yeah, I have. Yes. Yes. Yep, because you've got the line. You've got the line down mm. here. Mm. So, and I only know that because I've had a heart attack as well. But you need to really just And this slow is why I have now put in place certain things in my life now so that I can enjoy my life, move on with my life, and at a pace that I want to work at. And, and I love working, not that I don't love working with people and so forth, but my main priority now is to, I wanna write my books, um, and I wanna help the animals. Sometimes I'll be working with the animals, but it's, it's a slowing down pace. Mm. I'm not doing as many And have you had any, have you gone and had a skin check done? No, but I will do that. I have been thinking about that myself. So you need to go and yeah. do that too. Yeah. Thank you, darling. I know. <laughs> I'm very and, and much And there was a sign that I just noticed on her hand for that too. So that's with the palmistry, sorry. No, don't and, be sorry. It's um, great. I'm happy to hear. Um, um, it's actually really funny because uh, I, I am going to go and get all of the... Um, the, the, the smear and the, and the breast hairs and, and things like that that I need I know are very well overdue and uh, so I want to go and get all that done one after the other. Mm. I do um, palmistry and talk, like talking about um, things that you can sort of pick up so things mm -hmm. that I just noticed with Amanda and that was I didn't even look pick up her hands or look at her hands it's just when people are talking and they talk with their hands and you notice these things. Mm. But I did do a reading for a friend um, and she works, she might even be listening. Um, I'm just trying to think, her name's Angel, Angela. Do you want to go and get Russell? Sorry. And anyway, Russell. she mm. had a funny mark in here Russell. and on, on her hand and I have to say, it actually looked like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> And you're not going to oh, find funny. this in in the books. It's not in there, and I've seen it three I'm times. Oh, sorry. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're not going to see it in the palmistry books. Anyway, I said to Angela that she needed to go and get a checkup done, and she was rushed to hospital. She um, wow. had cancer, <gasps> cervical cancer, and she has only just been cleared of it in the last week wow. or two I've seen her put a post up on there um, so yeah I want to say to my dear friend hello if she's listening 
Just one a half hour reading. Do you want to take that? Yeah, I'm happy there to you go. take that one. So, Kelly, yes. if you could uh, contact my office, Kelly Mal Malia Malia. Yep. Um, contact Tracy and uh, she will book you in for a half hour reading of your choice. It doesn't necessarily have to be an uh, animal communication. So, I just give people choices. So. so, and send me a message on my page too, um, just with. Oh, well, send me a private message with your phone number and we'll just make sure that that happens. Hang on, now I'm going to just pick another one. So this is a Drum half roll. hour reading with me. Drum roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Minere, M-I-N-I-R-E. Congratulations. So, if you want to send me a message too, I don't think I've seen you on the show before. So, if you want to send me a message and I will organise that half hour reading with you too. Um, on Saturday, this coming Saturday, I have got a tea leaf reading workshop at uh, the Destiny Tea Room. I've changed the name. So, the Destiny Tea Room in Stanley Street, Wollongabba. And tomorrow, Rob is doing his talk on palmistry. So that's at 10.30 to 11.30, and that's only $15. So if you'd like to go along, let us know. You will need to book in. Um, the 3rd of May, Amanda has got her show at Devon Pixie. Yes. So that, now there's a minimum number for that too. There's not very... 24. And Twenty-four. There you go. Only uh, twenty-four tickets available maximum, for that. Maximum. That's it. So um, the three of us will be doing that, and uh, we've already sold. I think it's seven or eight tickets. I'm not sure, but I know we've sold a few. So yeah. And then if you go onto my page, the Destiny Tea Room, you'll also see other events that are up there as I think well. Tracy just put something up. If you would like. To get my newsletter just send me a message with your email address and i'll get that off to you so that's got all the events so next thursday we'll be going down to um springbrook down to sharon mcleod's place that does all the beautiful artwork and then the following week we're going to loris's place and she has got a retreat come bed and breakfast in Brisbane so we'll be going there and interviewing her and doing a few readings there so if you get onto my page the spiritual uh, no <laughs> the destiny tea room um, just look up the events there and you'll get all the information from there so everyone have a safe and lovely weekend thank you so much um joining us in my oh, moment thank, thank you. you and we're just going uh, to have some big some but food you're in that bitch so that's that's everybody that, that knows me knows what fat bitch is. So it's not a person. Please don't rave at me because you know, it's it's uh, an endearing term for cake. 
<laughs> and anybody that is on my page knows that I really enjoy fat food. So I sent Brian down this morning and said, as much fat food as you can. And he came up the stairs and he said, no. So we're getting a few messages coming through. Hang on, I'm going to grab the phone now and bring it closer to us. So I can just quickly scroll through and read these and say hello to some people. Okay. Hang on. I'll sit on this armchair. It's not going to break, is it? No. Okay, so here we go. Okay, is <laughs> a close-up of us. So, Tracy, hey, Kelly, please email the office. Okay, did you, did you get that, Kelly? Um, Kate says, thank you, everyone. Thanks for that, Karen. Yes. And thank you yes. to my wonderful PA over there helping me out. Kelly, thank you, ladies, for a lovely morning. Who else have we got? Um, Pandora. Here's Russell. <laughs> yeah, Russell's just there. And this is Brian. And sorry, Robin. 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 Rob's my bestie. <laughs> and there's Karen over there. And in the background, is that Coolan? No, that's no. Nindery in the background. So we've got the beautiful, beautiful greenery out there. I did try and take you out there because I wanted to do the filming out there, but the light was just no good, so you wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway. So let's scroll through here. Pandora. Pandora is on every single week listening. Aww, She's beautiful. And Pandora is not well at all. She's in a wheelchair. Oh, darling. And um, yeah, she's, you, really, she's really struggling. So that's my dear friend Pandora. Rachel, I think, Rachel Pratt, I think she's Leo. Leo was very special. Oh, so Leo belonged to Rachel. So she's over in the UK. Okay. Hi, Tony. Hi again, Pandora. Look at all these from Pandora. <laughs> Pandora loves to share. And Kelly and Pandora and Pandora. And Marlene. Hi, Marlene. And Mandy. And Marnie. And Angela. And Shazza. And Rachel. And Kelly. So hi to everyone. Thank you all very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. I'll be back again this time next week, but we will be down at Springbrook with the lovely Sharon. So thank you very much for thank um, having you. us here. Mwah. And thank you for joining us <laughs> here and coming up and doing this for me. And, uh, and Karen, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> and Russell for running away. <laughs> Brian for filming. And, um, and my beautiful Rob, my bestie over there. Feel sorry for her sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's it for us for now. So this is Kate signing off with Amanda on Spiritual Events Directory, and we shall see you next week. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Bye. Bye.